the, the number one job of a politician, whether it's in China, in Chandigarh or Cheboygan, uh, is to stay in office. And what you're seeing across the board with big China tech is 20% layoffs across the board. Uh, this is a common practice before every China National Congress every five years. The next one is, as you know, is happening in November. The year before, uh, which would be 2021 in this case, they crack down, they assert the communist authority over business, they do regulation, they realize a year ahead of the, uh, the event that they've overshot, people are getting laid, laid off, they're becoming unwieldy, unhappy. And then what happens is they reverse course, they slow down the regulatory crackdown. We saw the video gamers, they started to approve licenses in the last couple of weeks. Uh, and what happens is massive stimulus, both monetary and fiscal. China is the only developed country in the world right now that is aggressively easing, and they have been since November. Now, that's been that there are two issues why we're not seeing that in a material way now. Number one, the shutdowns have offset that in, in the short term. And number two, it takes a six, six to nine months, just like tightening takes about a year to slow down the economy. Stimulus takes six, you know, four to six months to be felt in the economy. So as the Shanghai lockdowns start to lighten up, you're going to see it. I mean, and in effect, we did see it with the GDP was a bit of a shock. The industrial production was a bit of an upside shock. Retail sales, you have to understand people are locked in their house. They don't have income. They're going to they're going to spend less. But once that reopens, I think we're going to see see things really, really accelerate. And the big are going to get bigger. It's the unintended consequence of regulation that the smaller players won't be able to last. The bigger players are actually going to gain share. And with, as you saw with unemployment expectations at 5.5 percent, it jumped up to 5.8 percent. That is not yeah. a good thing going into the China National Congress if you want to have, yeah. have a smooth transition of power. Tom, real quickly, uh, the Hang Seng, uh, historically, every time it's traded uh, below book, it has rallied big time. You, you think it's set to do the same now? No question about it. You know, in 19, it's trading at a discount to book or, or just about book right now. Uh, in 1998, it, it traded at a discount to book the Hang Seng. In the next 17 months, it was up 156%. It did it again in 2008. The next 21 months, it was up 110%. 2016, it was up 82% in the next 23 months. And in 2020, it was up 36% in the next 11 months. So every time it gets this low, you get a reversion to the mean. It always lo looks darkest before dawn. That's exactly what we're experiencing right now with China Tech, with the regulatory noise. But that stimulus is going to kick in. They're going to gain share. Their consumer is going to come back strong. Yeah. And you're going to look at this as a generational buy opportunity when we're out looking out 12 wow. to 24 months. People are going to look back and say, I wish I had General. at least put a flyer on, on this and, and taken advantage of that opportunity. Well, 